Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're checking out Shape of Dream, baby. This one is a really, really cool action roguelike. The combat is so much fun, okay? So they got some MOBA elements to it. They have collab, like you could do two player, you know? Um, the coolest thing about it, though, is the fact that there is an FTL type uh, a mapping system, but we've got a little bit of meta currency from my practice runs. Here, you can just like accumulate meta currency within the run, and when you get enough, you can use it um, to upgrade some of your abilities. Like we can upgrade destruction, for instance, and get some damage abilities. We'll go ahead and go apply here, and I've been getting a little bit stronger as I go. We only have one character unlocked so far, but let's dream alone and go to start and i'll show you what i mean by the ftl style thing there's some moba elements to it as well but the combat is so much fun so we have these rifts that we go through and when you open up the map there's like a constellation style map this is where you're located this is where you need to go to progress to the lower levels but naturally there's a boss waiting here so what you want to end up doing is powering up to get more skills and enhancements. These are your memories, they're called, but they align with certain shortcut keys like right mouse button or Q and E, which we don't have yet. And this is our passive. And every fourth attack, we do a crit and it explodes and does some AOE fire damage. It's good. So what we can do here is select any one of these nodes. There's a couple different places. Like this is a shrine of guidance, which allows you to um, like heal up. There's also some upgrades called wells, and there's merchants too. So this is a hunter. They are these this location has the the starting point for hunters. And when hunters move into your location, or you move into a location that there are hunters in, um, kind of like the FTL thing, they're very very strong, and they can do some. Um, there there's also some bombing that happens. I don't know. It's it's quite traumatic. Anyway, we're gonna go to this area first oh wait where this is where you're located you have not visited this oh you can only travel okay i wasn't even close enough to a rift so you have these little nodes and resource nodes in uh, each area and you can use them for various upgrades gold allows you to use it in a shop and dream dust allows you to use for upgrades and you can actually uh, dismantle stuff that you get too or you can take out anything and dismantle it so i could dismantle this and get some um some of the some of the stuff for it or i could just equip it and and go forward and that's how we get new abilities and stuff so let's go here and we'll get into our first fight and they do have a MOBA style control to where I can left click to move around and attack, but I'm using WASD, which is just a little bit more familiar for me. And that's what my fourth attack looks like when I use it with this ability. It kind of spreads to the nearby enemies. I do have a dodge roll that I just didn't use properly. <laughs> and uh, let's see, Shrine of Disintegration. Disintegrates who, those who would touch it. You can sacrifice health to gain resources. Okay, that gave me some gold, but took away some health. I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> I want all that money, bruh. Um, and we're just gonna have to, we're just gonna have to heal. First of all, it only costs 15 to heal. It only costs like 15 gold to heal, at least the first time. And the cool thing about these abilities and the way they are is, you could kind of just wait until you have your ability cooldowns up to progress to the next area. See, I have a timer that's going on here, but I haven't seen any bad thing by letting it go further. I'm thinking that maybe the nap difficulty has something to do with that. But we'll get a little bit more dream dust here, and now we have enough for an upgrade if we go to a spot with a well. So this is where we are. We could go here for the Shrine of Guidance. Um, yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. And I'm still quite low on health, but there's the Shrine of Guidance. And uh, all I gotta do here is activate it and I heal up. So I came out ahead from that. I mean, I'm not a full health or whatever, but there's plenty more stuff that we'll uh, run into to probably heal. And I'm not super afraid. These, these guys aren't super bad, you know? starting off 
Okay, another thing that you'll notice too is I have a one next to this. This is for charges. So I could basically use this ability twice in a row and uh, then it would go down to zero. Or I could just use it once and I still have the ability to use it again before it cools down because a cooldown gives you a charge count and it's a maximum of two. So this is a memory remnant, basically uh, another ability. We could dismantle this for some dream dust or we could equip it. And this is a dark spear. Gives me some pierce. I get that. I've used it before. Not my favorite ability. But um, hopefully we'll see some others. Uh, so the hunters have invaded where we are. We gotta move on. There's another shrine here. We'll go there. We don't need to use it, but we can if we want to. And I just gained a level. That's what that sound was. And I'll show that to you as well. So when you gain a level, you get a level of experience. Level and experience, all stats increase each time the traveler's level rises. There's no real stat, that a stat bar that I could see. I don't know what my health was prior to that, but um, my, my max health or whatever. See, and it's really, really, like, combat right now is a little slow, but it gets hectic real fast. Sometimes they put you in some little confined areas, and you only have two dodges. Two dodges before they cool down, so <laughs> it, gets, it gets hectic pretty quick. Let me see if I could use my spear a little bit. Uh, we have 147 bucks, which ain't a whole lot of money. I would rather wait to go to a merchant for that. Um... The hunters are not occupying this area yet. Also, you'll see that some areas are more dangerous. Like if the hunters have been there too long, this is dangerous. This is slightly dangerous. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, there's 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 a bunch of things going on with this game, but the combat is just it's terrific, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. It is a lot of fun. And I've only been playing around with one character, but the replayability for this is just so much fun. There's my spear. The damage ain't bad on it. The cooldown's impressive, too. All right. Oh, oh I thought he was going to charge right into my stuff, but he didn't. That's okay. <laughs> you can get away real quick, too. Cool. Like I said, you gotta get a little close to it, but I mean, the game puts you in situations where you are close to stuff sometimes. I miss both those ores, man. I should be ashamed of myself. I should be ashamed of myself. Beautiful. Okay, another memory remnant. Give me something good, please. Beam of Light is good. I've had this before. It basically gets me some healing and some damage. You got to hold it, but you just got to kind of know how to use it. Like when you hold it down or when you're using it, if you don't move, you'll keep using it and you can heal more and do more damage. But you got to stay in one spot in order to use it effectively. Okay, there's a well here. Got 171 now. Hunters are probably going to go into this area next. I'm going to go visit the merchant right now. Maybe maybe we'll get some. Okay, we'll shop. He's a spider. He's a little spider guy. Uh, ice Claw. Swipes forward with an Icy Claw dealing 69 cold damage. Can swipe again to deal additional damage. Ice Shield. What, well, they really want me to have ice abilities here. I'm, I'm not a big fan of the melee abilities. I already have one, so... Um, Chips Essence of Wind, attack speed by 25% for 5 seconds. That's actually pretty good. Chip Essence of Lethality. Memory's damage against enemies with 70% or more health is increased by 39. Chopped Essence of Spiral. Periodically fires a fireball at a random enemy dealing 35 fire damage. Higher quality increases the firing speed. I like this a lot. Let's get it. Ooh, and a lot of stardust too. Okay, equip. And let's put it on my bar. Because I use that a lot. Nice. 
We can also sell, sell stuff with this guy. You can see I could click on pretty much anything just to get my money back for it. But we, li we like this right now. We'll hold on to this, uh, this Dark Spear for a minute. Okay, have not visited here. Powerful force can be felt. It's kind of like elite enemies. We still want to go to the well. Let's go to... I mean, we have enough to upgrade two skills, so let's go to the well now. Before we go fight those elites. Powerful monsters. Oh, wait. Did I go to the wrong one? Or was there elites at both places? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I didn't, I didn't really see the fireball thing happen, but we just gained the level again. Oh, I saw the fireball. I saw it. It was just a little, sh like a little Roman can. Yeah. So it's just like some extra damage when I hit R. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. Shrine of Guidance. We don't need it concept remnant that is for an essence which is kind of like a gem in diablo <laughs> i forgot to i forgot to compare it to that earlier when i was talking about the different like gimmicks or shticks that this game has that's one of them uh let's get another remnant and it is Ooh. increase all this is like a super rare one a legendary one Increase attack damage by 7, ability power by 7, maximum health by 37, attack speed by 10%, critical chance by 6, and memory haste by 10. This is unbelievable. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So this is a well, and we can activate our ability, uh, upgrade our abilities here. I like going for the, um, this one. And we have enough to upgrade one more. I think I'm just gonna go with my um, my passive. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. And uh, now we could go to the next area. Okay. We don't have enough for uh, the merchant yet again, so let's just go to this place instead. Hello? Anybody home? Yes. Oh wait. If I'm near. My aura ability automatically shoots at him? Oh my god, this is great. <laughs> I thought it was just if I cast it or no, no, no. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, <laughs> that is incredible, man. This is just like straight up extra damage all the time. Got some insane luck. That's all I could say. The regeneration. You can get some uh, some of these essences that are for regeneration too, and they help with healing and stuff. All right. Minimap says there's nothing left here. Let's go to this. This one. Ominous presence. Powerful. Oh! You did. Your boy unloaded on him. I pressed air button. I did the all button press on him. Um, fierce rage. Increase attack speed by 10. Ability power by 5. Or maximum health. Let's go with ability power. Yeah. And some more of our dream dust. So that we can get some upgrades. Very nice. Uh, still only 134 gold. This is where we're located. Hunters are entering this area. Hunters are also entering that area. I think we getting out. I mean, I could fight the hunters, but I mean, I got something important to do right here. <laughs> A little boss fight. I think you're gonna enjoy it. He looks like the devil. Ta-da! <laughs> oh. Easy, tiger. Easy, tiger. There's my heal. Ha <laughs> ha! Full health, baby. How you like that? How you like that? Okay, and we get Bell Palmet Soul, which 
gives me a rare essence. Periodically fires a fireball. Oh, it increased its quality. So when you get another gem of a certain type. Wait. Yeah, when you get another gem of a certain type, it absorbs into um, the other. So you can't use multiples uh, in one thing. Let's say I had like a cooldown for 15%. I couldn't put one right here and one right here because it would absorb automatically. Okay. So these are Stardust. This is all the meta progression currency. And um, we're finished. We can go to the next area, which is a new biome, uh, a shattered snow biome. And we could heal up here or we can progress. This is where the hunters are starting from. There's a well here. Um, and this is a Shrine of Guidance. We don't need that yet. I think I will go here first. Yeah. Let's go here first. Let's try to hit a few areas before we are confronted with even more enemies. One of our abilities, if I'm not mistaken, gives us more fire damage. Let's see. Nearby enemies are dealt instead. Okay, let's wait. Maybe this one. Um, no, I, I saw a bit an ability that if you if something's already ignited or have taken fire damage or something, it does extra. <laughs> the, the the beam of light is pretty cool. It is pretty cool. You gotta you gotta be real careful by using it on like strong enemies because they can still do their big attacks and it kind of locks you in place for a second. But the healing effect is nice. Okay. fragment which is flame jet plus plus say less baby um spew streams of flame for 2.5 seconds enemies hit by this flame take 316 fire damage per second and the dark spear i think is going away G. i think it's going away so oh yeah baby the cooldown on it is pretty long, but I think it'll help me. I think it'll help me. I don't like the the the, the focus ability, the, the fact of it, but being that it's an epic plus plus, that's that's pretty good. Okay, shrine of guidance or a well. We got plenty to do on the well. Let's go to. Wait, where? You have already visited this place. Oh, I'm here. My bad. Um, should we go to the merchant? Are we taking a big chance with that? Maybe not. Let's go to the merchant. Let's see what we could get. Hopefully we're not taking a big chance. Uh, we can tell right here. No. Hunters are entering this area. So... That's if we would teleport to him now. Right now, we're fine. So, let's see. Pressure point plus glacial hammer. I've had this before. It's pretty cool. Um, Night sky. Each time the memory hits an enemy, your attack speed increases for 7% seven sec seven for 3 seconds, up to a maximum hit. If it deals dark damage, it can increase up to a maximum of 28%. Hmm. Shatter. Every 10 seconds, the damage dealt to enemies casting this memory is increased by 26%. If it's lightning, it does more. Or Quicksilver. When casting a memory or dealing fire damage with it, movement speed increased by 24%. I do like that. Let's take it. And we're going to put it on... I guess we could put it on this. 
Because it does fire... Yeah, it's fire damage. So we get some movement speed after that. Being that the ability is, is like it is, it might not be as good. This does fire damage too, our right mouse button. And it increases our movement speed. Actually, I think that makes more sense. Yes. That makes more sense. Okay. We'll go to the well. Let's try it out, shall we? <laughs> All right. It's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. I do like the movement effect. Look. See how I'm just running? Now, when I use it, I have that like little speed particles or whatever. Yeah. Don't mind if I do. Okay, let's upgrade. What happens if we upgrade this? Oh, it takes 60 to upgrade it? The cooldown and the damage. Okay. This is the healing. This is the cooldown. I like the fact that the cooldown... More burn damage. Hmm. Okay, that was a big, that was a lot of upgrades right there. <laughs> this is, this is definitely cool as far as like kiting is concerned and stuff. Just like on this bridge right here. Watch, watch your boy do. <laughs> Pretty cool. He almost, he almost hit me though. You gotta be kind of careful. Beautiful. Okay. Remnant, give me something good. Chip the essence of wind, increase attack speed on cast. 25% for five seconds. I think I'd cast this most often. I'm just kind of putting everything on that right now, but it's like it's my it's my go-to, man. Okay, so too far to travel. We gotta go here and then hunters are coming. Hunters are coming. We gotta move, we gotta move, we gotta move. Alright. You suckers. Oh, we got a little potion though. Hey, every once in a while those drop. We could have just healed with our ability, dude. I love that crit effect, man. Hey! What you throwing over here, bruh? Like that dude from Ninja Garden that throws them big thing. Uh that the big blade, it kinda looked like um you ever watch Ninja Scroll? One of my favorite animes ever. The rock guy that throws that thing? One of the devils of Kimon? Yeah, he throws that big blade. Yeah, oh, they throwing a lot. They throwing a lot of. Them. You group them up like that? That's beautiful, bro. That's beautiful. What we got here. Remnant. Okay, chip the essence of Quicksilver, increased movement speed. Okay, so this is a good, uh, you see how it says quality 30? And it says combine instead of just gather. I could dismantle it, but if I get it, it just automatically combines. And... Uh, did it? Huh. Essence quality increased, it said. So why doesn't it show that? Oh, it was Quicksilver. My bad. So yeah, it was... <laughs> I was looking at the wrong one. <laughs> Dang it. I was trying to show y'all something, but... <sighs> this YouTube thing, guys, I'm still not good at it, believe it or not. Okay, how do we get out of here? Oh, here. It's kind of disguised. Okay. We only have $112. I mean, I like the memory jet, but what if there's something better? What if there's something better? Let's go, let's go to the, let's go to the merchant. Let's go. 
don't go into fire, by the way. It hurts you. I've done that a few times. It sucks. Okay, flawed essence of direness. The lower my health, the shorter the cooldown of this memory. When my health is at 30%, the cooldown is reduced by up to 36. Oh my god, I, I ain't trying to get that low. I could do some more Quicksilver. Guidance. The healing amount is increased by 26%. 50% of the excess healing of this memory is converted into barrier. Ooh. Beam of light. This is beam of light. This beam of light plus. Pillar of flame is an incredible ability, and I want it. So we're going to sell this. We're going to get pillar of flame. And... Should we get guidance, too? I think we should. Okay, so... Get this. Pillar of Flame. It goes on my E. And this goes in healing? Yes. Healing amount is increased and some barrier. We get all kind of good stuff for that. Okay, Pillar of Flame. This is what it does. And it does a lot of damage. <laughs> like, a lot of damage. Okay, the only thing we missing is something to freeze enemies with, but... um. There's only a few skills that do that, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. It was a good idea to go to that shop, though. All right, let's go here. I get to showcase the new ability, the Pillar of Flame. Yeah, come, come on. I hear you hissing. Look, look how ridiculous! Ah, right into it, bro. Right into it. The cooldown's a little long on it, but it's worth. When it is, oh man. Especially when you get into these spots that have, like, a ridge. It is good. Good, 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 good. Okay. I hear you hissing. Eat it! Eat the flame, suck a burn! <laughs> Very nice. Okay. Memory Remnant? Is it something good? Pillar of Flame Plus? Bruh, we literally just got that. So, we can have two. <laughs> we can have two. Uh, the, the bad thing about this is that you can't combine these as far as I know. So, like, if we go to equip it, it asks us what we want to replace. And it just replaces it. So, yeah, it doesn't... You can't. So... We're going to dismantle this, unfortunately, but we got a lot of Dream Dust for it, which allows us to upgrade the other one. So in, in essence, it's like combining. I just wish you could do it on the spot, but like, like kind of like the, the gyms or whatever. I do like the game doesn't force you into these weird scenarios where you have to forge these things, uh, you know, through upgrades or unlocks or whatever. You could just kind of forge them. Okay. Hunters are entering this area. We'll go to this area here. Ominous presence. Okay. Whoops. And uh, uh, allow me to just disable my little alarm real quick. There we go. Sorry about that. I live my life by alarms, y'all. That's how I stay productive. No, you don't. I know you wanted to hit me with that thing. I know you wanted to hit me. Like, see these little bridges? They good because... Well, that is... If you catch things before they actually... <laughs> before you actually cross onto a place that you can't get away from. But look, my cooldown's done now. Watch. Yep. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm not even having to heal. Not even periodically, man. Now I got to because... Wow! What a crit that was, bruh! Ooh! And I got some chaos. So I can upgrade my memory haste, which is like ability cooldown. Unbreakable will gives me some health. And boundless knowledge. Ability power. Let's go haste. I like, I like getting um, faster cooldowns on my abilities here. We can go to this as well before here because there's no, um, yeah, there's no, there's no hunters there. Let's go here. We'll stretch it out a little bit.
Yeah, feel some, feel some of that. Feel some of that. <laughs> I love it, man. Okay. I could use my little Q a little bit to get me some health. I just want to time it to make sure... See that? See that? Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, another memory. What we get? Repulsive shield. I've had this before, and it's okay. Um, It's not very good for my playstyle, so I'll show you what it does. Basically, you can block stuff by holding it, right? And then it actually reflects bullets and stuff too, but you have to kind of get hit for that or act like you're going to get hit for it. And honestly, I don't particularly like getting it. I like, I feel like dodging is better than parrying, so to speak, at least for my type of play style in this game, for sure. Okay, I could go to the last place too. There's a Shrine of Guidance. There's no, yeah, we might as well. Might as well. I'll have uh, one last place to visit. Get a few more resources. Oh, wait, look at that. That's so, that's so beautiful. It's a beautiful thing, what I just did. Also, when I can't even see enemies... This passive ability of just um, the fireballs coming out. It's it's so good because I can tell where enemies are going to be after that. All right. We got as much XP as possible on that one. All right. And now the only thing left is you see hunters are in this area. Trying to guidance is low, low. Okay. Let's go here. So the only thing left to do is like a well, which... Well, I don't need a well. And... Uh, oh. Hmm. Alright. Skull. Oh, ouch. Wait. Let's talk about this. Let's heal a little bit. Uh-oh. Ouch. Ouch. I couldn't I couldn't get away from that. Ouch. Heal. Heal. Fire. Got him! And he almost got me too. Okay. <laughs> that was really close. <laughs> that was really, 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 really close. <laughs> um, somewhere deeper. And we are aware. Shrine of Guidance. We will heal. Thank you. And... Uh, Open the rift map. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What is this? Ominous presence? Let's go straight into it, bro. Straight into it? Wow. Okay. Chaos. Thank you. Giant strength. More attack damage. Increase attack speed. I do like that as well. Bro, it's really flashy. Concept. Flawed essence of spiral. Periodically fires a fireball. <gasps> That's what we already have. Superior. So this one is 200% quality. When we combine, it is 250% quality. Very nice. Okay. Next area. Shrine of Guidance. We need a well. There's a well here. Let's go to the well. Oh, 
you gotta watch these guys. They have some attacks that they summon down from the heavens. Okay, we can get some extra um, gold here, I think. Shrine of Disintegration. 20% of our health goes away, and we get some money. But we can heal, so... Not a big deal. See, I didn't even know where those enemies were gonna be, and my fireballs started charging them before it was even a thing. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of the Protoss in uh, in StarCraft. No? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, what can we upgrade here? Oh, man. I got 303. Like, we could use a lot. Let's upgrade Pillar of Flame three times. Let's do another one of my R's and 60 left. Another passive. I would say um, my healing thing, but I mean, I only use it to heal, really. And even though it's good, well, my footsteps is juicy. Let's get one more. It's going to bring us really low on health, but I want that extra gold. And uh, hopefully we won't have uh, too much difficulties finding a, um, a Shrine of Guidance or whatever. Yeah, we could go to a Shrine of Guidance here, but there'll be another one. I think I'm just going to go to a place that I haven't visited yet. If you're confused about how the level design works too, you can always check this map at the bottom right. Yeah. For some reason, I can't always use this cube. Um, nearby ally with the lowest health percentage. Essence of... Uh, so it doesn't tell me... It doesn't tell me why I can't cast it sometimes. Hmm. Like, I try to do it, and there's, like, no target or whatever. But it worked that time. Not having, um... Not having, like, proper walls is actually pretty challenging. Actually pretty challenging. Like... It, I don't know, it's weird. Static discharge. Close range AoE light damage. Oh. Close range AoE light damage. Um, let's put this here for now. And if I get this and replace it with this, what is it? So, hold down the cast key to charge up static. When fully charged, detonate the static to heal light damage. Enemies to enemies based on the charge time, knocking them back and reducing their movement speed. This seems like it would be better for a ranged combatant. See, it goes off automatically, so you can't actually control that. As much as I hate to do it, I'm going to dismantle it. Hmm. Cool, though. Um, Shrine of Guidance. Let's go here. Okay, Ominous Presence. Okay, got some stardust from that. Beautiful. Now let's see if I can queue. Yeah, got a little healing. Okay, not too bad. I also wanted to put this here again. And... Concept Remnant. Hey, I was trying to heal, bro. Ooh. That hurt? But boy, you saw the damage I was doing to him? <laughs> I was messing him up, bro. Um, let's go with Ability Haste. Yes. 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 Concept Remnant. We get Blood Essence of Metal. Cooldown reduction on enemy kill. Oh, baby. Um...
I use that so much. I think it'll be good. Um, okay. Next area. Shrine of Guidance. We're gonna do that. That way we can heal. If we need to. We'll try to heal up right here and not spin our gold, but... Beautiful. We got to heal a little bit there. Hey, I'm fully healed now. <laughs> hey, buddy. Just, yeah, just stand. Just stand there for me for a minute. <laughs> uh, uh, ooh, Ice Shield plus plus. Melee cold damage, ally shield restoration. I don't like the word melee, you know? I don't like it. I mean... I, I really wish let's see let's just put this here for a second and let's get this and put it here for a second I just want to showcase the ability oh it's just a shield huh instead of a dodge I don't know I already have dodges and restores 30 health to an ally for each enemy hit this is interesting for healing uh, but no. Even though it's a plus plus, I, I like my hand cannon. Let's dismantle it. I do like my hand cannon, y'all. And I'm fully healed. I didn't even have to, uh, didn't even cost me nothing. We got $391. Let's go check out the merchant. Hello, spider merchant guy. Uh, let's see. Flame jet plus plus. I've had that before. It's like a stra- I don't know if I used it this run. But I've recorded so many of these episodes and failed, guys. <laughs> shadow Walk Plus Plus. That's kind of neat because you can uh, do like a, a shadow arrow attack or whatever. Swipes forward with an icy claw. Flawed Essence of Metal. Cooldown. I love that. Regeneration. When you cast in combat, restores your health by 53. This is nuts. Um, Chips Essence of Quicksilver. I'd like to get a bunch of these. I want to get this for sure. Okay. And let's see. Wind increases attack speed. Casting this memory increases attack speed. Let's go with... Um, sorry. <laughs> let's go with... Cooldown of this memory is reduced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're gonna go with chip distance over here. Okay. And then we equip this one to this because I use that a lot and I wanted to restore health. And then another Quicksilver is very, very nice. Another. I think we're just gonna go with this one though. That's a really, really good one. Um, and we get that combined flawed es essence of metal. Quality 70%. Right now it's reduced by 0.8 seconds. So if we combine, it is reduced by 1.2 seconds. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Okay. This is where we're located. We can go here for the well. There's also a powerful force in this area. We'll do that. Powerful monsters, yep. Man, the healing that I just got is insane. I don't even know if we needed it, but... Kite, 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 all day long. This cooldown is so good. This cooldown is so good. See the regen that I get after using that bar? And I could use it twice in succession if I need to. <laughs> oh, hey. Did 
Look at this healing, bro. Look at the healing. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Okay, fine essence of glaciation. Excuse me? That sounds like a made-up word that a kid would say. Like, is the refrigerator used glaciation to cool off the groceries? Um, when this memory is cast, it emits cold, dealing 105 damage to enemies. As quality increases, the emission range widens. It emits cold, you say. I mean, let's do it here and just see what happens. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, um, we can go to one more area, I think, before going uh, going to the exit. We'll try to get a little bit more healing. Okay. Look at the healing happening. Oh, yeah, Stardust, baby. Stardust. Okay, we're at 898 of 957. Pretty good. We get a little bit more, though. Just a little bit. Hello? You sucker. Okay, look at his healing. I'm at, oh, I gained a level, so I got a little bit more health now. <laughs> we are higher than we were when we started, but, uh, <laughs> all right, let's go for, um, the rift. And, let's, let's, let's check out the boss. Let's check out the boss. I don't need the Shrine of Guidance. I mean, I kind of do technically, but I'm not going to use it. Just in case we got to go further. Oh, hi. Hey, girl. What's happening? Immune. Excuse me? Bro, you making a lot of... A lot of mess. Okay. Oh. Oh. That's okay. We got the regen. We got the regen. Immune. Quit being immune, sucker. Are you immune to that? Whoa, she's sucking me in, y'all. Wow. She killed me! Oh my god, I was so close! You little witch! <laughs> she was sucking me and I couldn't get away fast enough! I should have hit Q earlier, but... <sighs> what a good run that was, though. That was actually the furthest I ever got, and I think it was a great run to showcase the game. 48 minutes, good lord. Guys, if you want a fun game, and an awesome combat roguelite experience. This is this is the one, bro. Download it. I think you might still have to request for access, but I did, and I got it in a few days. So definitely check out the demo. This is going to be one that I'm purchasing for sure. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ulrich signing off. We'll see you.